Hi, my name is Terrence and I'm a product marketing specialist for Confluence. Today I want to show you how to use the rich text editor to create page templates in Confluence. Let's get started. Let's start by adding a new template to the current space that we're in, which is the marketing team space. You can also create global space templates from the Confluence admin console that can be used across all spaces. Let's create a template for this space by simply go to the, by going to the browse menu and selecting templates. As you can see, we don't have any templates at the moment, so let's go ahead and create a new one. We're presented with a new rich text editor that we shipped in Confluence 4.0, but is now available for creating templates in 4.3. Let's create a template for a meeting agenda page to be used by our marketing team. We'll start with the page title, and we'll call it the weekly team meeting. We'll add some structure to our page by applying a page layout. Let's go with the two column layout with the header and footer. The top of our page will have a goal for our weekly meeting. Now we're going to insert a variable. A variable has been a feature that can be used to create templates for a long time now, but you have to remember the exact wiki markup syntax in order to use them. Now they are a lot more discoverable and easier to use. A variable acts as a form field, so you can create templates for your users that have some structured form fields to complete when adding content to the page. Let's go ahead and add a variable from the editor toolbar. We'll click on variables and add new variable. Now I'll just add in a brief description for my variable. When clicking enter, my variable will be inserted into the page. Now let's have a look at what it looks like when a new user is creating a page from this template. You can see that my variable is being displayed as a form field text box. The text box is fairly small, so let's go back and change the settings of the variable. Just clicking on the variable, you can see that we have several options for the text box that's displayed. It can either be text, multi-line text, or a list. Let's select multi-line text. And we'll leave the default settings, but you can change the pixels of the text box just by going and changing these fields. Now that we have a goal for, a me for the meeting, let's add a list of attendees. For the list of attendees, we'll use the at mention feature that we also introduced in Confluence 4.0. Once we at mention users within the page template, they will automatically be notified once a new page is created. Once a new page is created, they'll get their notification from right within Confluence in the new inbox, which will also be shipped in Confluence 4.3. Now let's use at mentions and add our list of attendees from the marketing team. Now that we have our goal and our list of attendees, let's add an agenda to the page. For our agenda, we'll use a simple three column table. And I'll fill out the table. Now we have a goal, a list of attendees, and an agenda for our team weekly meeting agenda template. The last thing we'll add is a section for notes. So I'll add heading for notes. And again here, we're going to use a variable. But this time, we'll use the keyboard shortcut. So you don't even have to reach for your mouse to insert a variable into a page. Just use the dollar sign and then add your description. We'll just call that one notes and hit enter. So let's take a look at our weekly team meeting agenda template. Again. We have a fairly small text box here for the variable, so we'll go back and change that. That should be good. So let's save our template. Now let's see what it looks like when a new user goes in to create a page from this template from the dashboard. You would simply go to add page. And now we'll start with the weekly team meeting template that we just created. 
hit next. We're brought to the page template wizard where now we can fill out those free those free form text fields for the goal and notes and I'll fill those out really quickly. Once those are filled out, we'll click Next. And as you can see, Confluence has automatically populated the page with the text that I just inserted into the template, as well as everything else that we added to the template earlier. So we have our list of attendees, which will automatically be notified, our agenda, as well as our notes. So now let's just add a title to this new weekly team meeting page. And we'll also add a date so that it's easy to discover from the search box. Now that our page is completed, we'll save it. And just like that, we've created a page from the weekly team meeting page template that we just created. So that's a quick look at the editor for page templates that's coming in Confluence 4.3. Templates are great for any type of content that you create on a regular basis, like templates for policies, procedures, or even feature specifications. Templates are great for helping users create good content quickly. Thanks for listening.